uh, he was very strong and very fast when he said that, uh, yes, I can improve vision, I can come back with vision, I can look at everything. So this is my idea, that I want to learn and come back to vision. So I did these exercises for two years, uh, during four hours a day. It was a lot of perseverance, a lot of persistence, a lot of hard work. And everything I did was just follow all these exercises Meir does year after year, day after day, in every presentation. If there is not one time that I don't learn something new. And I wish that you really learned from what he taught us today again, because this was the story of my life. And uh, so now, when we are starting, I just wanted to say that um, I'm doing a very thorough work in Brazil. I was in Portugal in the times of my vision problems. Okay. Okay. I would like to share some thoughts that I have about the situation uh, in the world, you know, concerning with his eyes. So when the dragon looks at you, you die. Okay, so you cannot look at the uh, eyes of the dragon. So the game is like this. We will be looking at uh, each other at the I look at Sylvia's eyes and she looks at my eyes, mine, but we cannot do it at the same time. So she has covered her eyes and I am waiting for her to, to look at <laughs> She almost looked at Now I cover my eyes because with children it's important that they cover their, their eyes so you, you, you see whether they understand. And she is very and now it's waiting for me because any moment I can open it. So the instrument is open. You can talk by yourself, but you But uh, we have a lot of knowledge. 
but the teachers, they don't need all this knowledge. They need simple program, they need to understand the basic. And first of all, they need to believe that this is possible. Sylvia during last year, she made a very good point that I was not aware, I, I was aware of, but I, I didn't really recognize this as clearly because, you know, I, I don't invest in the medical world in Poland, of course, though I am in good terms with uh, several eye doctors and uh, I get clients from them when, when, they, when the eye doctor sees that everything is okay with the eyes, but the person doesn't see the eye doctors who send uh, those clients to me. But this is not the way. And then I thought maybe uh, uh, educational work, and this is more available. But what Sylvia has proven is that uh, uh, create the demand in the regular people. If we can go to the media and teach the parents uh, and the people who have problems with vision that there is a solution, then the teacher, the educational world will also ask us for uh, some help. And we suggested that during this conference that if somebody is interested in making some contribution to this, we can sit down and discuss the, these issues. And to, my dream would be that we make, we as the vision teachers, uh, problem that if, if we may you know, represent the vision teachers from all over the world, or may, maybe not, maybe this would be, this would be too much, but at least we can represent a big chunk of the visual vision teachers. If we can make ourselves available for the educational authorities to make it clear that we think that there is a solution to the epidemic of breast myopia, we don't know exactly the problems because we, the problems have to be checked out, right? Because the, that's what I mean. We can do it, but the teachers, they need a very simple uh, program, but interesting program. So we need to check what works with the teachers. And just to make, us, to make a, a statement that whoever wants that, you know, that they are very welcome to uh, come and we, we can cooperate and we can create some programs at preschools, schools or some other institution. So this would be my dream for this for this conference. And we still have a few minutes so maybe I pass to Sylvia and then we can have Ha, 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 ha.